What's up everybody, this is From the Depths Collectibles coming at you with another toy haul. On this week's video, we're gonna talk about the NECA Holophon stuff that we picked up and a few extra goodies that we picked up along the way. So let's get into it. All right, guys, let's talk about the NECA Holophon stuff that we picked up. We were able to find a couple of things that I was looking for, but you know, those shells are already picked through. You know, I did hear that, you know, a lot of targets put out a lot of stuff earlier on in the week, so they jumped the date. Which is kind of funny because Target's usually the one that is kind of a stickler when it comes to street dates and they go ahead and jump the date on the thing that you know everybody was looking forward to. So that's kind of weird, but I'm very happy to find some of the stuff that I was actually looking for out there. You know, first up is this Ash Williams. Now this is the Ash Williams from the first Evil Dead movie, you know, before everything got real crazy, before the chainsaw hand, before all of that stuff. It was just a nice, humble horror movie. That's all it was, guys. You know, it did get kind of crazy, you know, in the second movie, which is just a remake of this movie, except it goes off the rails, which is one of my favorite movies. But this one is an iconic character. You have to get this if you're an Evil Dead fan. And this box looks amazing. You know, if you're out there, guys, find this one because this one is the one that I saw mostly out there on the shelves. You know, not too many people were picking up this one, but it is an underrated figure of the NECA Holothon and a must have for any Evil Dead fan. All right, next up on the NECA Holothon stuff, and unfortunately the only other thing that we found for the NECA Holothon was Metalhead here. Now, Metalhead was one of the ones that I really, really wanted from the NECA Holothon. You know, it is one of my favorite characters because I do love, you know, the robot turtle mashup kind of deal. You know, I do like the robot uh, aesthetic of him and everything like that, you know, his weapons and all that stuff. So this was a must have for my turtle collection. So when it was out there on the shelf, it was a must have and had to come with me. So if you're looking for this one, I suggest you go out there and find it guys, because this one was actually readily available. It was all over the shelves. Every, you know, target that I went to at least had one of these guys. So if you need them, go out there and check out your targets because they do have them. Alrighty guys, moving on from the NECA Holothon stuff that we picked up to the stuff that we picked up that has nothing to do with the NECA Holothon. Starting off with these AEW cards that I picked up, and I'm very happy about these ones, guys. I was on the lookout for these things, and you know, everywhere I went, could not find them. You know, they had tons of WWE cards, but they did not have AEW. And then this one target that I was in, you know, I was checking around, looking around, and I found these on a shelf. You know, they were like nowhere near the you know card section, so it was kind of a sneaky find. You know, I was just out there looking around, and then that you know red box caught my eye. So these things came home with me and I'm gonna open these things up. I'm not too sure what's in here. You know, I haven't looked at anybody else's, you know, card openings. I see that there are some autograph cards in here and some memorabilia cards in here. I kind of want to get some of those cards and it's a very cool thing to open up. So I might open it up on camera and put it up on the uh, channel for another video. Alrighty guys, moving on to the Star Wars Black Series Paz of Vizsla. Now this thing is pretty cool guys. I do like this character. He is a bulkier version of a Mandalorian and it looks really cool. You know, if you were playing like, you know, a, a FPS kind of game, he would be basically the heavy. You know, if you, you know, played, you know, Team Fortress or anything, this guy is like that, you know, heavy dude who is that Russian guy with a big Gatling gun. This is basically that kind of archetype. So it's really cool and a very cool figure to add to my collection. You know, anytime you can find a Mandalorian character, it's really cool to put into your collection. So far, I have a couple of them, you know, in my collection. So I'm thinking about maybe like putting them all together and doing like a Mandalorian uh, shelf. So that'd be a pretty cool concept to kind of do. So this one is another one to add to that collection and I'm very happy about getting it. Alrighty guys, last up is something that I'm very happy about getting and that is this Hobgoblin from the Retro Spider-Man series that has been hitting the shelves lately. You know, this whole entire wave has been eluding me. I have not found any, you know, Spider-Mans. All I see is, you know, Shocker, Hammerhead, and I don't even see Hobgoblin. You know, I see people like, you know, they go to a store and there's just pegs and pegs of Hobgoblin. You know, I cannot find any other character other than, you know, Hammerhead and Shocker. And even Shocker is kind of hard to find. You know, all I see is, you know, pegs and pegs of Hammerhead. But luckily I went to this Walmart guys and I wasn't going to stop into any of these Walmarts because I was focusing on targets for the Holothon. And luckily, you know, I went to the back where the collectibles, you know, the collectibles are 
and there was Hobgoblin. This was one of the big ones that I was looking for, guys, and I'm very happy about getting him because, you know, Hobgoblin is one of my favorite characters in Spider-Man. You know, I think he has a better design than, you know, the Green Goblin. And I understand that, you know, a lot of people think of Hobgoblin as just a cheap knockoff of Green Goblin. But honestly, I like his design a lot better. You know, they perfected it in, you know, the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. You know, his design was just perfect. And this is the reason why I wanted this character because, you know, I was a very big fan of Hobgoblin. You know, everybody was all Green Goblin, but I was the only person in the camp of Hobgoblin. I know he's not that crazy of a, you know, villain or anything like that. Not many people like him. You know, his uh, stint in the comics was, you know, not that great. And, you know, there was multiple versions of Hobgoblin. So, I really like this character, guys. You know, sue me if, you know, you're the type of person who prefers the Green Goblin over Hobgoblin. But that's my opinion, guys, and one of the reasons why I had to pick this thing up. So that's all for this week, guys. It was another great haul and another great hunt. Were you able to find anything good at the NECA Holothon this week? Let me know down in the comments down below because I do love hearing about that stuff. But that being said, guys, I'm from the Dutch Collectibles. Like this video here and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because we are so close to our 300 subscriber mark and our 300 subscriber giveaway. And I know you guys want to be a part of it. So if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And if you like this kind of stuff, check out our other videos on our channel. We do things like the toy haul, the toy hunts, and we do something called the custom corner where I go about customizing some of the figures that I pick up. So if you're interested in any of that, check out the other videos on our channel. And like I said, I'm from the Dutch Collectibles, and I'll see you guys next time.